In the last video, I showed you how to do a thread mill with the half 13. This video is going to be an extension of that for an MPT hole, uh, that is tapered threads. Fusion doesn't know whether the, the threads you're making are tapered or straight. It follows the selection. In this selection, it's a straight hole. So, for MPT, we're going to start a new design. And it'll be the same 2 inch by 2 inch circle with an extrusion 2 inch negative. Fine. Now, we'll take the whole tile and in the type. It's going to be a simple hole. The taper is going to show the last one, the taper tapped, and the bottom is going to be with a drill point. So we're just making one and put it on the top surface, rotate, and let the part, let the hole snap to in place, and let's make a one inch MPT. Press OK. Now Fusion has given us Fusion has given us a tapered hole with a drill point. So with that, let's switch to manufacture. New setup. Stock is a fixed size cylinder, two by two. Stocks on center. Post. We don't really care. Press OK. Let's add a tool. Let's take tool one, which our center drill from our thread mill, and add it to template. And we'll name it number two CD. Our location is going to be my templates local. So we have one tool saved. Right click on setup again, create from template. Number two center drill is showing. That's the one we want to use. We'll edit it, select the whole face. Press OK. Clearance height, clearance height is incorrect. Let's select everything we need to select. Now we have a little shadow of what our center is going to do. Press OK. Now let's take a Duplicate of that, we'll make it a half inch drill. New tool, drill, half inch drill, cutter, description 0.5, and we'll leave the rest alone. It's just a basic drill. Cutting data, we'll put that at 40. And uh, feed per revolution, 3. Post processor, number 2. That's fine. Press accept. Select. Everything's the same except our bottom height. We're going to reference the bottom cutting edge of the hole. We'll put a zero there and we'll tell it to drill through and change the cycle to deep drilling. 125 is fine for what we're doing. This is just an example. 
After this, what I'd like to do is sort of a standardized thing that I do in the shop. Um, we don't need large drills, you know, like SD drills or spade drills. We'll just use a small drill and a half inch in mill. Nothing, nothing crazy. We'll take a 2D adaptive clearing. We'll make up a new tool. Yeah, it's a flat end mill, half inch EM, flat, doesn't matter what it is, it's just a basic end mill, no branding or nothing like that, 500, 500, overall length, length below cutter, overall length is 3. Length below cutter is 1.5, shoulder length 1.2, and the flute length is 1.2. Cutting data, we'll put this at 100 surface feet. And thousandth and a half for the chip per tooth. Press OK, select. Now we'll use this and select the bottom circle, the bottom geometry. Now we'll select model top, one inch retract height, model top, one inch top height, model top zero, bottom height selected contours. That's going to be the selection we made earlier. Uh, we'll use uh, tricordal milling, so 10% of the cutter, 50 thousandths optimal load. Um, we won't leave any stock. Uh, we'll change this vertical lead in, lead out. That's terrible. Let's see what we get here. Nice feed in. Helix in, taper out or spiral out. Let's take a look at that in simulation. We still haven't gotten to the thread, but you gotta make the hole first. All right, that's fine. Let's add a chamfer from the previous storage template. A one inch, one inch. 90 degree chamfer. Save template. Go back to our MPT. Right click. Create from template. One inch 90 degrees in there. We'll change the tool name or tool number. Um, in this case, I'm going to start making them the tools that I have previously saved in the shop. This is 14. Press accept. And that's still not even big enough. Well, we won't use that. Let's make that uh, tool 16, not 14. And we'll actually get the chamfer tool that I actually need is a chamfer mill 2D chamfer. Select a tool, new tool. It's going to be a engraving chamfer mill. So that's going to be also a half inch. 90 degree chamfer middle and that's going to be tool 14 cutting that is going to be same about 100 tooth out per tooth on this one it can be faster fourth out per tooth we're just taking a little bit off press ok press select 
Now we can select the top of the hole and actually give it a chamfer. Chamfer width of 80 thou. Should be fine. Press OK. We'll delete 16. We'll run a simulation again. No issues. And there's our giant chamfer. Next, thread mill. Select thread from the 2D pull down. Select create a new tool. We'll create a I'm sure it's right in front of me. Thread mill. And it's gonna be uh, one inch eleven and a half. Eleven and a half TPI thread mill. And we'll make that uh, let's just make it 500 because we don't know what the tool is. Yours will vary based on whatever tool you buy, whether it's Harvey or some other manufacturer, Gar, Hanita, it doesn't matter. Flute length doesn't matter. Thread pitch does matter. One divided by 11 and a half. Number of teeth. That's fine. Post processor. We'll make this twelve. Thread data. Let's let's do that at sixty. And then we'll keep uh, three thou per tooth because we're going to do several passes anyway. Accept. Accept. All right. Here's the key difference in this. Since the hole is tapered, it's going to ask, and Fusion will recognize that the hole is tapered. See that? You can scroll to the top or rotate your part to the top. You can see it is spiraling while helixing. We'll press OK. And now we'll run a simulation with just that tool. And we'll slow it down after the beach ball of death. You can see it's cutting along that um, tapered hole. And we can go in there a little bit more to have a better um, simulation. That's just one path. You would do several more if you wanted. Um, where is it at? What are we looking for here? Pitch diameter offset. Let's do 50,000. And press OK. Beach ball. And it goes in a little more. But the key to this is having, telling the fusion that it's a tapered hole to begin with. If not, if you're just going to get a straight hole. Even if you have a tapered end mill, it won't matter. Uh, and you know, if you do it with a tapered end mill, a straight hole, you'll still get a, a tapered hole, but your, your code will be a straight line, straight down for a hole, not MPT. Well, if that was useful, like and subscribe. Um, let me know if you want a different subject cup uh, video. Uh, leave, it, leave that in the comments and have a good day.